Hey guys, it is December 9th, 2016, very close to the end of the year, and I don't normally put videos out on Friday, but I want to start doing something like a Q&A every Friday. So I'll be doing vlogs and like flight videos and stuff on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then on Fridays I'll be doing question and answer sessions. So if you guys have any comments or questions, or if you want to like this video to let me know that you guys want question and answer stuff, just put all the questions you have in the comment section below, and I'll be glad to answer as many as I can on the question and answer sessions every Friday. So from now on, if you guys have any questions, please put them in my question and answer videos. Um, I, obviously, I try to reply to all the comments on my other videos uh, as much as I can. I'm pretty busy these days with travel and whatnot, but I try to do as much as I can with YouTube because I feel like YouTube is my, my new family, my long lost family. You guys have helped me grow over the last year. I've grown almost triple in subscribers since I started the like weekly stuff on Monday and Wednesday, and now I'm going to be doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm eventually trying to get towards daily stuff, but it's just so difficult with how much traveling and how much other work I'm doing. So I'll try, but please, if you guys help me out at all, the more more stuff I get here, the more I want to make content. So thank you very much. And we're, we're almost at 50K. That was my year, my year end goal. So we're at 2016, December 9th. Um, it's like not even, it's less than 30 days till the end of the year and we're hitting 50,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Thank you very much. Um, I hope to hit 100K by my birthday. That's my next goal, which is in March. And uh, I don't know if it's gonna happen, but maybe you guys could help, please. <laughs> it would be so awesome. Um, but all right, so I have to catch a plane in about an hour and a half. Um, well, I have to be at the airport in an hour and a half, so I need to leave really soon. But I would love to talk about something that I get um, I get questions and answers and comments and things and all kinds of stuff, private messages, texts, whatever, about sponsorship. So in the beginning, sponsorship was different for mini quad stuff. I think sponsorship in general over all forms of any kind of entertainment are very similar. Basically, the goal of sponsorship is we give you something and you give us something. So it's kind of an equal trade-off. Basically, if you're being sponsored by a company, the company expects to get something back from you and you expect to get something from the company. It's not an unequal side. It's not like, hey, I get all of this stuff over here and the company's just chilling down here going, well, we're just gonna keep giving you more stuff because you're, you're up there, whatever. Like, it doesn't matter because we don't make any money anyway, so what does it matter? So <laughs> anyways, it needs to be equal. And that is the thing that I don't think a lot of people get. And I want to kind of talk about that. And I don't want to make this video too long, but I'm going to try my best to keep it short. So in the beginning of mini quad stuff, basically I would reach out to people and send videos to, to companies and say, hey guys, like I really love your product. And, and to be fair, all of these products that I would reach out to be sponsored by, like Flyduino, I even reached out at GetFPV. Like it was kind of a big race between Schizo and I to see who could get sponsored by GetFPV first and John got it and I was like super super pissed and envious of him and it kind of it turned out for the best like I I'm completely okay that I didn't get that sponsorship then then and then I put out a video a couple weeks later and Trappy commented on it from Team Black Sheep and I was like oh my god what is happening and I that's like my my idol when I got into FPV was Team Black Sheep so I messaged them and I was like oh my god are you guys looking for pilots and they're like yeah I mean kind of but that's how I got my first like legit sponsorship was Team Black Sheep um, and it was like a dream come true and I reached out to them. So before that I was sponsored by Cobra and, and Thunder Power and I reached out to all these companies and I kind of used leverage like I worked at a hobby shop at the time so I was like hey I work at this hobby shop, I went to Drone Nationals, can you guys sponsor me blah 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 blah. I, I make videos like they get this amount of views like this is my uh, online presence this is what I do people want to fly what I fly just because um, I go to events and I win races or whatever I never won a race but I was pretty competitive in Drone Nationals 2015 um, but at the same time like it was a trade-off like I got free gear or I got a discount like with early on in Thunder Power I got 50% off which is basically dealer cost which I already got because I worked at Atlanta Hobby so it was like but now I get to say I'm sponsored, so it was kind of like a, I already get that deal. But you know, since I'm being able to rep this name, then it makes my like I guess persona go up a little bit because I'm a sponsored pilot. So in the beginning, it was all about being sponsored in a way that was like, hey, I'm helping these guys out. They're probably ga gaining more than I am because I'm still having to pay money for it. But you know, 
it's kind of like at the time it was like if you're sponsored you were all of a sudden like Ooh, this guy's good because he's sponsored and that's kind of how I leveraged it at the time but now it's so much different there's so many people that can get sponsored there's so many pilots that are way better than I was or or even ever will be there are so many great pilots out there it's like how do you know when you're good enough to get sponsored well it's not necessarily exactly how good of a pilot you are but it's how you present yourself it's how you make content how you like promote their product so if you're like hey I want to get a motor sponsor you go to a motor company and you say hey I have X amount of views per month. Hey, I have X amount of likes per month. Hey, I have this many people following me on this particular social media platform. All of these people look up to what I do, so that gives me leverage to say, hey, would you guys like to give me free product? Because all I have to do is say, hey, I fly this, and then other people will want to buy that product. So that's kind of how you would use it in like a general sense. That's how you would go about it. So if you wanted to send someone like a, a sponsor me tape, essentially like you would for skateboarding, it's different. Back in the day, it was all about how good you were with skateboarding. It wasn't necessarily about social media platforms because it's not like that anymore. There are such things as social media platforms and anybody can post content at any point in time and it can gain various amounts of traction. So what you need to do is you need to basically say, hey, I do this, people look up to this and this is what I can offer you. Can you offer me something that is equal or greater in relationship to what I'm offering you? And that's how you go about sponsorship. So if you ask someone, hey, is this good enough to get sponsored as far as a flight video goes? It doesn't matter how good your editing is. It doesn't matter how good your flying is. It's all about how you present yourself. I know people that are sponsored pilots that don't necessarily fly that well, but it's all about who they know and it's all about what they do I know, like, I I think in general, like, I love Bruce from uh, RC Model Reviews, but, I mean, let's just face it, he's never going to be the best pilot in the world, and he knows that, he doesn't care, but the fact that he makes content that people watch, everyone wants to send him the stuff, because they know that 100,000 people are going to watch his channel and want to buy what he reviews, so there are reviews, I mean, there's... All kinds of people that are popping up with review channels with product talk they talk about products that they've used they don't have to be the best pilots in the world so being sponsored is a very broad broad subject that you can people try to niche it into being a very good pilot like I'm not an amazing pilot um, but I, I do what I do well and I can represent myself in a positive way that people want to go out and have fun because if I'm having fun and they see that I'm having fun and I can portray it in a way that makes them look like it, it's it's pretty simple to have fun, which it really is, then why aren't they going to want to go have fun? <laughs> so thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, I have to go catch a plane. So thank you and I will talk to you soon after I make Rotor Ride episodes in LA this weekend. Bye! Ugh!